thank you, Lord. You are holy. You are holy, Lord. You are holy. Takatifu, mwaminifu, wana mweza yote, unanguvu. Fame Mimi ni 
Thank you, Jesus. Ah, we worship you, Son of the Living God, thou who changes not. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Who is like you, Adonai? Who can take your throne, my God? Who can sit on that precious throne? Shilatola Prahizanda, only he that has overcome. Thank you, Lord, because we are more than overcomers. We are more than overcomers in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us that day, that week, oh God. We have overcome that King of all the glory. It's not because of who we are, but because of who we are, children and heirs of your light in the kingdom of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take over this service, my God. It belongs to you. Whatever we talk is all about you. Let you be the vessel, the, the one to speak, oh God. Let me just be the vessel in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this dear ones, oh God, that you brought King of for the glory. Father, they are hungry and they are thirsty, oh God. May you quench their thirst in the name of Jesus. May you, King of for the glory, meet them, Jehovah, at the, that point, Lord, where they need you most, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ. Father, as they leave this service, my God, today, reprovishka dabahanda, Lord, their hearts will be filled, O oh God, with the light and the wisdom and the knowledge of your word in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for what you're going to do. Thank you for what that is ahead of us. Thank you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We humble that you may be exalted. We decrease that you may be lifted up high. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. amen. Give God a good clap and say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Prison Worship. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Tuko wazima, salimia mwenza kumwambie, yesu anakupenda. Eh, haya, salimia wawili watatu. Corona, ba, corona haina nguvu, kwa hivyo, usiogope kusalimia mwenza kwa. Salimia mwenza kumwambie, yesu anakupenda. Na mwambie asanti kwa kufika ibada ya siku ya leo. Hallelujah. Lila vrikazoda. Nilifulahi waliponyambia tuende nyumbani mwa Bwana nilifulahi waliponyambia tuende nyumbani mwa Bwana oh, nilifulahi waliponyambia tuende nyumbani mwa Bwana nilifulahi waliponyambia tuende Cheka cheka waliponyambia tende nyumbani mwa Bwana Nilifulahi waliponyambia tende nyumbani mwa Bwana Nilifurahi waliponyambia tende Ponyambia twende, nyo 
nyumbani mwa Bwana ili furai waliponambia tende nyumbani mwa Bwana oh ili furai waliponambia tende nyumbani mwa Bwana ili furai waliponambia tende nyumbani mwa Bwana Chezalege kidogo. Aya wewe. Chezale kirege kidogo. Wengine hawajui kuimba kirege. Mungu mmoja chini mwingine juu. Ehe. Tele. Bwana. Wacha kuwa mstifu kidogo bwana. Ehe. Weka maringo kidogo. Eh. Nataka kuona watu wakisonga songa kidogo jamii. Wacha kuwa mahala pamoja. Tabalia ile rigari ya ku dance na tu yapo ata dance hallelujah eh tabalia ile mavazi ya ku dance na tu ta dance hapa hallelujah sometimes it's good to be joyful in the house of the Lord amen si hapo tu kila wakati hai bani mabana ted apa na hallelujah bana sifiwe kama ume simu yako iko on tafadhali uizime it's because of one two three things hallelujah good to honor the house of god weka tu mode uh, silent ama uh, airplane mode ili kwamba pasiwe na disturbances hallelujah wow i, I feel joy in the house of the lord amen sikia nimefurahia sana sijui furaha bila sema kwamba the joy of the lord is my strength kwa hiyo najua kwamba kuna nguvu fulani napata. Hallelujah. Kuna nguvu fulani napata. Sijika wewe uko kama mimi. Hallelujah. There's that you know, who is explain when you're in the presence of God. Sometimes even when things are not good, unakuta tu una smile peke yako. Unakuta tu una mambo yako yako sawa. Hallelujah. Unasikia tu uko sawa. Bwana asiwe sana. Na Saidi Daudi akasema, "Nilifurahi waliponiambia" 
mbeni nyumbani mwa Bwana. Haleluya. It's such a wonderful wonderful Sunday. Bwana asiye sana. Naweza keti katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Haleluya. Good to see that we have uh, managed to come early so that at least we may continue with what we've been uh, going through. I always want to give a recap and tell you that it is a series, a series that is called Understanding the Kingdoms. And uh, we've been looking and going through a lot of information about who we are, about what was God's desire for this, uh, for creation. Why did God create? Hallelujah. Why did God create the universe? We looked at it. The reason was in Genesis 1.26 that men should dominate the earth. Hallelujah. May have power or reign over the earth. That was the main reason. But the way God did not create you just so that you may just worship him. Hallelujah. God did not just create you to worship him. No. If you are not there, still worship is there. Hallelujah. Amen. Because remember, in heaven, worship is a 24 hours thing. Hallelujah. You know, so you, you are not just created to worship. There is more than that. And that is to dominate the earth. Hallelujah. To have control, to rule, to bring into effect and affect the earth. You are surrounding your area, your place of work, your marriage, your ins any institution, you bring an effect. Hallelujah. Amen. Some people say, me, I was just created to worship. No. In heaven, the Bible says about thousands upon thousands of angels are worshiping and praising. The four living creatures are there. The 24 men are there. So, what do you do? You just, you, actually, worship is just a uh, uh, it was just brought down from heaven. Hallelujah. It was brought down from heaven. So let's have this mentality that in the kingdom we have been given a mandate. And the mandate is uh, to dominate, to rule, to have control. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Last Sunday we talked about the spirits. We went through a series about this, the spirit of God. Because in the kingdom, we talked about there is the Trinity. There is God the Father, and God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And then we saw that the main power, the power that drives this uh, entire Trinity, is the man called the Holy Spirit. And he is, and he ought to be your very close friend. For he is a person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, I like that. There is, there must have, or there, 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 there ought to be a close, a deep relationship between the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's why they worked as a team. And we talked last time about the Holy Spirit that Jesus left to us. Remember, it was for the joy of us that Jesus went. It was for the we say that prior to that, only Jesus on earth had the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. But when Jesus is going, anasema kwamba, I'm going to leave you the Holy Spirit. So I'm just giving a recap for those maybe who are new to our series and to our first sermon. And we saw how the Spirit of God loves something we call fellowship. Communion. Being together, associating, 
always consult him. Hallelujah. He loves that. But then I, I talked about the spirit of God uh, in three dimensions. We say the spirit of God can be with you. He can be within you or in you and can be upon you. And I got some questions. Man of God, hey, this one I'm not understanding. Tell, tell, tell us more about this. Hallelujah. The people who wrote some uh, text uh, messages. About the spirit of God with you, within you, all in you, and upon you. And today I want us to uh, talk about living in the spirit. So, the Holy Spirit in you. Hallelujah. With you is, isn't a big deal. Okay? The Holy Spirit with you isn't a big deal. Uh, give me Ephesians chapter 1. I, I want to show you when the Spirit of God, how he comes and he is with you. Ephesians 1. Hallelujah. So that we, 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 we understand. And still some asked about uh, the born again thing, the salvation thing. <laughs> uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Ephesians 1, yes, I like it that you've given me with uh, Amplified. Give me verses 13. Ah, glory to God. In him you also who have heard the word of truth, the glad uh, tidings of, of, of that is the gospel of your salvation, and have believed and ad adhered and uh, relied on him, we are stamped with a seal of the long promised Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Those who believed in Christ uh, will never the day will your conquer. The day you got saved, there was a special thing that happened in heaven. God gave you a seal of that you are his entity. And the only seal he could give was a deposit of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. So the moment you got saved, I will give me with, uh, with NIV, uh, and then we'll go back to uh, Amplified. You see how uh, uh, NIV brings it out. Uh -huh. The same, same verse, 13, with NIV. Do you have it? Okay, let me read. And you also were included in Christ when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation. Hallelujah. Having believed, you are marked. I love the word. You are marked. Hallelujah. You are marked in him with a seal, the promised Holy Spirit, who was a deposit guaranteeing our inheritance until the redemption of those who are God's possession to the praise of his glory. Hallelujah. So the, the day you got saved, there was a deposit. There was something that God did put in, uh, unto you. That is the Holy Spirit. But that is how you encountered the Holy Spirit and he was deposited and he was with you. But child of God, let me tell you, I said, don't be satisfied when he is with you. In the literal terms of the word with, if this phone of mine, I don't know which example I'm going to use, or this pen, this is in Kifuni Kosindo. Let me just try to come to the to 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 to, to, and to the layman's and understanding. In Kifuni Kwa e bailo sindio. If I put this bio uh, this kifuni kwa pana na he bairo apa I'll say this bairo is with its kifuniko. 
true or false? Ha? Ntasama hii bairo hiko na kifuniko yake hapo kando, sindio? Meaning, haiko ndani, ni kweli. But the moment I fix it inside, ntasama hiko ndani ya, 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 ya mahala pupi nasa hili kuwa. Kifuniko imeingia dani. So the Holy Spirit, when he is with you, it's okay, but desire when he is in you for when he is in you that's when he bring out the life that Christ wants you to have praise be to the name of the Lord let him be in you get this Jesus akasema when the counselor come let him come in your in your hearts let him be deposited in your hearts so, I want now to, today we talk about living in the spirit. How do a man live in the spirit? Or live in the spirit of God? How does a man live? In a very prominent or well-known chapter we are going to read, the book of uh, Romans. Today is going to be interesting. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 8 Hallelujah Our sub, sub theme today is Living in the spirit Hallelujah And remember this is under the Bigger topic understanding the kingdoms So the bigger key topic Is understanding the kingdoms Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no more condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Why? Aha, next verse. Because through Christ Jesus, the law of the Spirit, and always I say when you read the scriptures and you find the word Spirit, Try to differentiate which is the spirit. So this is a capital S. That one say, tells you it is the Holy Spirit. Uh -huh. The law of the Holy Spirit who gives lives, life has set you free from the law of sin and death. Condemnation has to come all has to be brought by guilt and breaking of the law. When you break the law, when you go against that which has been stated, you feel guilty of it, especially when you go to the court of law and you know very well that you did wrong. So you are standing before the judge and he reads out the accusations and you know very well that you did wrong. So in the board reform, man, remember I talked about man being composed of three uh, parts or segments. The body, the soul, and the spirit, okay? Man entirely as the body, as the flesh, the way I can see you. In the Old Testament, he was entitled to the law. And he, he could act upon the law. But the, the unfortunate thing is, the law was difficult for him. The Jews, the children of God, they could not keep the laws as God had uh, programmed or planned. And therefore, the same, same law that was supposed to help them, it became as near. And it became something that brought them out or kept them into captivity. Hallelujah. Paul says that what I wanted to do, I didn't find myself doing. Hallelujah. Because the law had its own reasons. I want to be good. I want to be a person who does good. But unfortunately, I find myself as a person who is cursing other people, backbiting other people. Hallelujah. Yet, in the, in the intention of my spirit is that I may be good. So the law was more of um, a snare. And that's why in the Old Testament, people could not have uh, or rather, a few people could have access to the spirit. A few people. Because they had not, or had not received what now we are going to, uh, to read today. Praise be to the name of the Lord. 
So the Bible says there is no more condemnation. If you came to Christ, as Ephesians 1 that have told us, there was a seal that God did put in you. The seal of the Holy Spirit. But now he waits for you to activate him so that he may be helpful, uh, helpful to you. Remember he is called a helper. A helper. Meaning, hallelujah, you have to let him, you know, ask him to come into your place where you need help. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> the helper will only come when you tell him, come. Otherwise, he will be just be deposited in you, just watching over you, but he'll never do anything. For he does not control you until you tell him so. It's like God. God will never control your freedom. Okay? He'll never control, he'll never master your freedom. But when you let him be your guide and your, and your master and your father, then he tells you now, this is the way. Follow this way. Hallelujah. So the same happens with the spirit. When he is with you, he just quiet, reluctant, just waiting for the day of activation. Hallelujah. Amen. Waiting for the day you say, Holy Spirit of God, help me in this. Holy Spirit of God, I need your guidance. The moment you say that, oh, unamuamusha daniyako. Hallelujah. And now he starts whispering some voices and some sounds to you. So if you are walking in the wrong direction, he tells you, mm -mm, mm -mm. usipite hiyo barabara. Usipita kwa kanjia Unakuna umefika kwa njia una, Unasikia sa, kitu inakuambia tu Wacha nisipita hii Wacha nileo nipita hii Because you have asked him to help you Before he was just there Waiting for you to say I need your help It's like it's, 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 Ni kama tu wakati naomba uh, God to give you the gifts of the Holy Spirit The Bible says It's when you desire them That he will give you Hallelujah I desire the gift of healing. And then he says he gives to them he de them that de uh, they desire. Hallelujah. So, unakuta I, I gave an example. Some years back, I was going to a, a prayer in the morning. And uh, the place that we were going, it was about five. There were some dogs around. Uko pande wa, niko tunaka pale pangani. Lakini kanisa nye chuko nende ilikuwa pande wa madhare kidogo. So usiku kuna wakora wengi huko. A, a, a certain guy had been marked to au, auliwe. Because somebody was, in, was, was jealous of him. He was doing well with uh, uh, the business of selling loaves. He mikate. So ni kama mtu tu anamuonea wivu tu. So majamaa wezi wakatumwa waenda wa muwe. I think I have given that story here. And wakambiwa wa make sure huko jamaa baiskedi wa muwa. So it was early in the morning, we used to go to pray uh, with uh, some few brethren. And wakati niliamuka, there was a, 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 a ile njia niko nimezoea kupandia. Nimetoka kwa nyumba, the way I used to go to the church. But this specific day, nilifika kwa jansho, nikasika sauti meniambia, Michael, don't go that way. Go the longer uh, way. Hii ilikuwa ka shortcut. Lakini nikasika sauti meniambia, go the, 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 the long way. I didn't know that there were thugs. Walikuwa meshika my friend. He was a, a friend of mine. Tuko na kumba na e. Alikuwa meshikwa. Na walikuwa memuambia. Wewe hatuta kuwa. I don't want to give the whole story. Hatuta kuwa. Mana tuko tumetumo tuwe jama wamikate. Na sababu wewe unavenye unatueza kuna venye. Alikuwa meshika Bible. Akishika Bible wanakuwa confused. Hallelujah. He was, he was actually a prophet of God. And I shika Bible too. Na mungu alikuwa memuambia subuhi chukua Bible. Anambia mungu sasa na chukua Bible na nikona Bible kwa kanisa. Why should I carry a Bible? Akaambia ono carry the Bible. Akatoka na ile jacket yake. Akachukua ka Gideon. Najua kari ka Gideon book. Bible. Akakweka ka mfuko. Just because tu amesikia sauti. Lakini anauliza mungu. Why should I carry a Bible? Na kanisa Bible ziko huko. So na kanisa si mbali ni hapa na kwa ke ni kutoka hapa na pale. Lakini nakasi ya carry the Bible. So wakati ya toka inje kwa gate, alikuta ama jama asaba. Wakamambia wewe, umetoka umenenda wapi, naenda kanisani, apana, tutakuwa. Apana, 
Ah, ah wakaanza sasa kudiscuss. No, no, one, two, three. Akawaambia mimi naenda kanisani. Akasikia Mungu anamwambia, ah, nini? Ah, hold your Bible. Akiingiza mkono hivi anashika Biblia. Ma jamaa anakuwa confused. Na wanasema tusimuue. Ah, tufanye hivi. Akiachilia, wanasema tutamuua lazima tumuue wote. A true story, I'm telling you. Ilifika mahala paka jamaa akajua, oh, kwa hivyo hii ndio wipo ni yangu, akaitoa sasa akaishika na ongea nao hivyo. Anamwambia, mimi nilikuwa nenda kanisani. Huyo mkubwa akawaambia, huyu jamaa tumsidikishe mpaka kanisani. Lakini lakini yule tutapatana naye kwa njia, we'll have to kill the person. Maana walikuwa wamesha miss yule mtu wa mikate ni kama alikuwa tu ameponyoka in a way. So they had to make sure that wameua mtu. So dio hapa walimsidikisha wali imagine oh, wakora wako na mapanga wakamsidikisha mpaka kanisani na wakamwambia tukisikia mtu mwingine tukipatana mtu mwingine ndio tuna tuna, tuna maizana na yeye so ile njia sasa my friend alikuwa na ile njia anapitia na dio waliteremkia so alibaki kwa kanisa akaomba Mungu God badilishia Michael njia so na mimi nimetoka kwa nyumba nimezoea tu kale kabara bani kasika sauti mnabia no Don't go that way. Go the long way. I stood. Usi uh, kitu 5 5 5 5 Bona niambia nisipitie hii. Nini hii shot? Ah ah nikasema ngoja let me go there. Do you know what happened? Waliteremkia hivyo. The person they fa- walipatana na yeye. Early in the morning tulikuta maiti hapo. Wal jamaa wamekatwa. Nani ile tu yeni? Kumitreat to mtutukua to mtu for nothing just to make labda walikuwa wanataka ku make a uh, statement that we are here hallelujah what am i saying when the spirit of god is inside you and you activate him he guides you paul is preaching the gospel he want to go to a certain city to preach the spirit of god tells him don't go to that place imagine it's a gospel anaenda kupeleka lakini mungu anamwambia aje don't go so if you are not in the spirit you will miss one many benefits and blessings secondly you are going to encounter a lot of devils if you are not in the spirit you will encounter devils and they will they will not come to soothe you because they know that anytime you can activate him so they will want to destroy you as quickly as possible so the bible says in Christ Jesus there's no condemnation why because the law is not uh does not have power over you yes there's the law but there is something about the law the law has to be ignited or has to be shaped, shaped and uh, uh well nourished by the spirit so that it may produce something in you so the bible says for what the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh meaning by the flesh nobody would please god with the flesh and nobody in, uh, up to today you will never please god with your flesh your carnal mind your sinful nature that's what the NIV calls it the sinful nature the flesh you'll never please god so the law the people who walked with the law because they were enslaved by the law they could never please god so the bible says look at what th- that uh, that statement the law was powerless to do because it was weakened by the flesh and let me tell you child of god be careful about your your your, your, your flesh be careful about your your body it is one vessel let me call it that that will make you go to hell if you don't master it if you don't master your flesh it will take you direct to hell because what does the nature what does the sinful nature want the flesh it needs things of the world i give an example about the the, the, the spirit the soul and the body When I talk about the flesh I'm talking about all when I talk about the flesh I'm talking about the can- carnality to have a candle and that one has to do with your mind So let's continue Aha. the next verse We are talking about living in the spirit and I pray that we'll get this Aha. in order that the righteousness 
uh, righteous requirement of the law might be might be fully met in us who do not live according to the flesh but according to the spirit if you live in according to the flesh you will gratify you will satisfy utafraisha mwili and where does the problem comes in the problem comes in if you don't master your mind if your mind controls you that you're fasting lakini una una miss kukula peremende na ulikuwa umesema kwamba sitakula peremende kwa fasting yangu the body tells you i want peremende i want peremende na ulikuwa umejiambia peke yako mimi nafunga siku mbili hakuna maji hakuna chai hakuna peremende hakuna biscuit lakini after one day iko sawa the second day pale katikati before jioni ifike mwili unakuambia nataka peremende nataka ka sweet ama ka biscuit kale kadogo nani nataka if you are, if you will not master your body if you are not going to master your mind what will happen is that utaenda useme ah by the way si ni kaperemende tu yet you had a covenant with yourself i'm not going to eat any peremende i'm not going to eat to drink or eat anything hata tunda sitakula lakini shetani atakuzungumzia akwambie because sasa ume open remember the devil uh, is active when you give him a loophole or when he sees where you've gone short of the word of god or the covenant with god that's where he comes in through nakwambia hata ukikula tunda si vibaya so unahitaji maji so unahitaji nini the body give you and the mind gives you that uh, room to let the devil now have access to you I said if there's something you need to watch and be careful about is the flesh. Remember the flesh is the body, the soul and those two they will either take you to hell or to heaven. Now, I I like demonstrating. Give me three people. Three people. Haraka haraka. Volunteer please. Let me show you something. Mwadhani, mtu anataka huko nyuma anakuja <laughs> Somebody else. Volunteer. Ama mnajishuku uko na dhambi mingi uta Unajua <laughs> tunataka kutokea mbele wasimulikwe. <laughs> If he as the flesh is controlling the soul if everything that he desires is always backed by the soul that is what jesus said flesh and blood will never inherit the kingdom because this one will always want anything that is of the world what does the, the body need three things the body needs kitu tatu sana mwili unahitaji food water and sex this that is what gratifies the flesh that's why the greatest sin of all hata bible ikasema kwamba ile dhabi kubwa unaweza jifanyia kubwa unaweza fanya kubwa is the uh, the sin of sexual immorality the body tells you i want her I want him. The body tells you I want food. What is the body? The body is If you look him, dani yake sasa to 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 dissect na to bisect, si ndio? Dani yake kuna what we call the driving force of a man, which you call the senses. Who is a carnal person? A person who is carnal is mwenye anatumia senses his senses than his spirit roho wa mungu ndani yako 
You know, there's a difference between sen uh, sensuality and sensitivity in the spirit. Sensuality is where you think in the five commonses. Hearing, touching, tasting, uh -huh, again, uh -huh. smelling, seeing. The body will always want to see. Look at what the Bible says in the, in, in the Garden of Eden. And Eve looked akaliangalia tena. Why? Because now the sense of sin imemwa imiamka dani yake. Akaona lile tunda ni tamu na ni kubwa na ni nzuri kuliko zingine. Yet the Bible had said, or God had said, do not even eat that fruit. But he, she used the eyes. Men have fallen because of their senses. But what is God commanding? God is commanding, we are not in carnal. We are not living in the flesh. The moment you, Jesus came into you, to me in Ephesians 1, there was a deposit of the spirit. Now, the spirit in Daniyako, and this spirit, you have to feed him. You have to feed him with the word of God, the word of truth, so that he may master your soul. This spirit has to master your soul. The moment he masters your soul, your body becomes your slave. But if you let the flesh master the soul, but na huyo na kwa katikati, huyo kazi yake ni kuambiwa kenye na mwenye kona nguvu pande huu ama upande huu. So a sensual person will always tell the mind, remember the soul, we have the mind and the emotions and the will. Ala mambia, do this and the soul is oh let's do it and, and you remember he, he 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 loves you know amplifying everything so if a person is in the flesh the soul is in the flesh the mind is carnal there's nothing about righteousness holiness and the word of God in that person. But if the man allows Jesus, who has deposited the spirit in the, in the person, there is the, an ignite, to, to ignite the spirit within the man who now masters the soul. This is very important. Very important. Because men have flopped. Men are not pleasing God because they are living in the flesh. Their minds are corrupted. Their spirits are dead. So when whatever they do, that's why you see there's a lot of killing today. There's a lot of you know evil. People have no respect for God. Why? Because the devil, who now is in charge of the body and the soul, ensures that the spirit is far away from God. So that Huyu akiahidiwa aki, no the flesh loves the things nimekwambia flesh inapenda vitu za dunia what is in the world is money the flesh needs money the flesh inapenda kuji kuji kujifurahisha na inajua pesa ni kitu mzuri so huyu mtu ambaye yuko in the flesh anapenda for instance pesa Kuliko venye anaweza you know penda mtu mwingine You have heard many people who have ameuliwa just because amepatiwa 20,000, 10,000, 5,000 Why? Si kwamba hana roho, roho shetani alimchukua kitamu alimnyamazisha Hana uungu And the society more especially in this Last days. That's how the devil wants men to be. Dead. Spiritually dead. And the carnal reigns. The flesh reigns. The person does what they need. That's why I talked about the body always desires what it wants. It hits, it hits the body, the flesh. It hits laws. 
it hits command. Because the spirit will always say, mm -mm, don't do that. Don't go that. Don't go that way. Don't eat that. Don't eh, uh, uh. There will always be a command transmitting from the spirit through the soul to the flesh. But this one, who you happened, happened is here. Atakanga free lifestyle yake free. My dress, my choice. Acha na mimi nivalie vibaya ni sauli yako. Yet Bible imesema dress decently. It's a scripture. Roho wa Mungu anamwambia dress lakini yeye anasema hapana. I want to do what I want because this is my life. It's me myself and I. Mind your own business. Shetani hapa anakuwa shetani anakuanga tu anapiga makofi. The influence from the evil spirit because let me tell you in every atmosphere two spirits are man in that atmosphere. Two spirits. The Holy Ghost and the evil spirit. Hata saa hii ivone tufunguke macho ya kiroho. Around this town there is a sp that spirit that are hovering. It depends on atmosphere yako miweka vipi. Kuna watu wakitembea maana roho wa Mungu alikufa wanatembeanga na evil spirit ndani yao ama juu yao. Every and I watch everywhere you go an evil spirit. Na hiyo inaweza kuwa I answer the question mtu aliuliza unaweza kuwa umeokoka ile ya mdomo he mimi nimeokoka Yesu ni bwana. I'm going to heaven. But your heart because somebody aliuliza where is the heart in this uh, example when you say umeokoka salvation goes to the heart now the heart is part of the mind it is called the subconscious mind it is a very important vessel when it comes to god because god looks at the heart and the heart has to be has to be uh, enveloped by the spirit heart ya mtu inakwanga imefunikwa na roho so when your heart determines to do something, the first communication from the heart is to the spirit. The spirit tells now the message to the rest. So that's why God says, I look at the hearts of men. Because the mind, Mungu akiangalia mawazo, ataona uongo mwingi. Nimeokoka Yesu ni Bwana. Lakini nyumbani kwenu kwenye unaishi ama plot yenu naishi hao majamaa wana my neighbors wanajiuliza huyu kweli ameokoka because there's no any enemy that portrays godliness in you neighbor yule ambaye anaweza kuomba chumvi pale anasemanga huyu 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 ni bangu ni shetani kwa sababu akitafuta mwanga haoni haoni and the bible says wakati umeokoka you become a light anajaribu kutafuta salt in you because naambiwa kwamba tuliokoka tukiokoka tunakuwa chumvi ya dunia we bring rather taste to the world anaanza my neighbor mnasema ameokoka hamjui hii haleluya praise Jesus we sana you may have your seats in Jesus name a life in the spirit and you have to understand something there is always a war kuna vita katikati ya roho na flesh and that one we can read it in the book of galatians give me galatians chapter 5 let me what what happens in the spirit aha uh -huh. 
the book of Galatians. Do you have it? Chapter 5, I think, 16. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Uh huh. Why? Now, let's all read together here. So, one, two, three. Uh huh. Uh huh. The next statement, they are. Hallelujah. They are in conflict. In the instant, for instance, uh, the example of uh, Joseph. When the Potiphar woman, uh, the, the, the wife, Aramwambia, no, come, baby, come. What was happening in the spirit was a war. The flesh is saying, ha ha, she's the queen of the land. I can have any, when I sleep with her and I get children with her, my children will be. You know, schooling in the best schools, there will be wealth and money and security and all that. But in the spirit, because the guy was in the spirit of God, and I'm be, I know there's a better destiny for you. So the Jaman Amwangalia put for wife. Put for come, come, please come. Imagine I'm the queen of the Lord. Come. But the guy akajua hapa, if I gratify the flesh, if I, I, I make happy the flesh, immediately the spirit of God will leave me. So what does the Bible say? Jama, akaona hapa, hapa si kwenye unanza kufunga macho na kuomba. In some situations, you don't need to pray there. Hallelujah. Jamani kukimbia ni kutoroka alitoroka. Anafukuzwa mpaka the madam akashika koti yake. Jamani kitoroka. Wengine wakasema ah. This this si ni baraka. And a golden opportunity. Nobody will know. Nobody will can know. It is the queen. And then later on, I'm going to repent. The deception. I'm going to do it, but immediately. Nikimaliza tu hivi. Takuwa kanisani pale kuombewa. I'm telling you, many men today, I'm telling you, many men today, they would have fallen to the trap. Ah, si prof ako pale, tada ni muna ko ofisi. Mabia prof ay nyewe ni lianguka. A deception. So the Bible says they are in conflict with each other. I remember when God called me, um, and I was in form two, and the Spirit of God came upon me and told me, Michael, I want to use you. Um, and God aligned for me what he had intended for me which is every day becoming real and fulfilling but he told me something Michael you have to go to your pastor ask, pray, uh, 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 you tell him that you need to be refilled with the Holy Spirit and I told God I am saved I am born again praise the Lord praise the Lord again my name is so and so. I'm bo I'm saved and born again. You know that song that we used to sing, eh? I'm so and so. I'm saved and born again. 
So I think I was in that man and Nikome. We are called Kanchua class seven, so I knew I'm born again. I'm saved and born again at the same time. But God is telling me, I want you to go to your pastor, tell him to pray for you so that you may be filled by my spirit and be born again. There must be something that will come out of you. So I had to. Now, this war. The flesh in Aniambia, Michael, Umiokoka. Kwanini wende kuokoka tena. And uh, I had a, a time telling God, Father, Naniambia ni kawokoke, na mimi si mwenye dhambi. You know how we look, you look yourself, urajua si mwenye dhambi. I don't uh, sleep with ladies. I don't take pombe and, 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 <laughs> and drugs. You know, I counted about six things to God. Namwambia Mungu mimi sifanyangi, wanga situkanani, mimi sifanyangi, mimi sifanyangi, mimi mimi mimi. And I was told that's not what I look. If I, if I'm to use you, you have to be obedient to my word. And prior to that, about 3 months, alikuwa usiku ninaamka nikilia. Nashangani nini? What's wrong? Sauti na niambia Michael I want you. Michael mnampaka nakata. Nilikuwa nimekatana kabisa. So hii siku nyenye nimesema okay Mungu, if that is what you want. Na unasema mimi ni mwenye dhambi. I told God give me a sign. But eh uh, Gideon aliambia Mungu, kama ni wewe malaika ninaongea na wewe, eh? Ngoja nitayarishe nita kitu hapa na usiondoke. So I told God I need a sign. And the story is long but Mungu akaniambia okay what what is it nikamwambia god kama ni wewe unaniambia hivi show me a sign that it is you sasa mimi ni nianze kujituma kwa ministry nianze kujituma kwa kazi ya show me a sign god told me michael are you not sick Sama. yes i'm sick by that time i had a problem with my stool it was all bloodish Maisha yangu yote mimi ni mara kidogo sana nakumbuka sikuona damu kwa kwa lui yangu. So nilikuwa sana nimezoea nimeenda hospitali natibiwa na narudi after 2 weeks narudi it was like that. So God told me are you not sick? Sema yes I'm sick. Akaniambia you only give you a sign the moment you go to your pastor. That day yo kitu ndakomalizia. So I was given a mission, an assignment. If I want to be healed, niende kwa kwa mchugaji. So I went home. Nikafika kulikuwa, I remember it was on a, uh, a Friday. Nimepanga. Nikifika immediately. Nikona hile mioto. Nikifika immediately nienda kwa pastor. Because pastor tu anaka karibu. Kufika tu nifika kitu saa tatu za usiku. Flesh kaza kuniongelesha. The mind. Sa hii pastor melala. Fanya hivi enda kesho asubuhi. Go tomorrow morning nikasema by the way pastor amerara sai kesho asubuhi by 9 8 9 nitakuwa hapo. The following day Saturday niliamka kitu saa 5. Sauti ilaniambia Michael go. Ingine ikaniambia sai pastor ako kwa shamba. My pastor ni mkulima. Ananiambia pastor ako kwa mkulima ako kwa nini? Sikoje atokee saa 7 wakati wa lunch time <laughs> uende. Nikasema by the way, the flesh still fighting. By the way, goja ifike saa saba, niende. Ikafika saa saba, nikaamuka vizuri, <coughs> now I'm going to my pastor. <sighs> Sauti kanyongesha, the flesh. Sahi pastor nakula lunch. Atafikiri unataka chakula yake. Fanya hivi. I'm telling you. <laughs> Fanya hivi, enda masajioni jioni. So the devil wanted me to postpone. Ili Sunday ifike. Sunday I was to go back to Nyeri because my mama alikuwa mezo hospitali. So nilikuwa nampelekea nguo. Ni, 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 Sunday ifike, pastor haende na mi nina nini. So ikafika jioni, ikasema by the jioni. Masa saa kumi hapo, saa kumi na moja. So ikafika masa, mimi ni volleyballa. So nikaenda uko kwetu nyupa, tukacheza ball, tukacheza ball. After kutoka, tumaweza kitu 6, 6.30. Sa so, nikatoka, nikisema, sauti na nabia, Michael go, Michael go. Nikasema naenda kama nimeenda kwa pastor. Mana lazima nipita geti ya kwake, alafu tuende nifike kwetu. So nimekuja, nimekuja. Kufika hapo kari, uh, between geti get ya pasa ikiwa pala sauti ngine kaniambia. The flesh, kaniambia Michael, 
unanuka sweat kwanza enda kwa nyumba uoge alafu rudi kwa pasta nikasema by the way sasa hii nanuka sweat so now that's how god fought for me nilijaribu sasa nimepanga kwanza nyenye nioke ni, ni alafu ni, nilifika kwa gate ya my pastor i'm telling you a true story god is my witness nilifika kwa gate ya my pastor nataka kupita nikashikwa na, na kama minyororo smaku huko chini nikapata nimefanya right turn na nimeingia kwa gate yake without i cannot tell you how niliingia aka nilimkuta hapo nje akiongea na bibi yake ah my son bado sio asifiwe si kusema amen nisema eh, 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 eh. unahubiri shule bado eh eh bra 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 ni yani nilijaribu kupotelea hiyo kitu and then that night nikaenda nikamwambia pastor you know what abcd and this is what i've been feeling please i thought hata ni rebuke niambia si wewe unakwanga leader wa, wa, wa church but he was come and I overcame the flesh. That night I received the Holy Spirit. By 12 na kupuka tukuma saa saa sita ilifika tukio huko kwake. Tukiomba, tukio tumesink. Nikasikia sauti imeniambia Michael thank you. My my son thank you. Now you are healed. So shida ilikuwa ni how am I going to know I'm healed? Nilikuwa nataka nyenda msalani hiyo hiyo siku tu because to go to mekula chakula kwa pasta nikifika kwa nyumba nikajiforce kwenda kwenda lu kwa nika kaona hakuna kitu ah sasa malabda nime inaachanga siku mbili so the following day sunday nika maana kwa nilikula ile vizuri so that jioni niende nikaenda nikaangalia hakuna sasa ma hii inakuwa ni kweli hii kweli ni kweli monday ikafika tuesday tuka tuka tukarudi shule tuesday hakuna wewe Kabia Mungu thank you Jesus and that is how I was completely healed Give God a clap if you want to The flesh fights the spirit they are in conflict and that's how permanently I got my healing bila madawa bila madaktari permanently mpaka today I rudi hallelujah because what the spirit of God deposits it is permanent yes so there is a war there is a war should i do this wakati mwingine nikauwa wakadogo ile asimu and many of us are victims roho anakuambia ukimwambia ukweli lakini anakuta tu the tongue imeongea because remember the tongue is a <laughs> is a vessel of the flesh so kama unaokoka my friend okoka mawazo okoka ulimi okoka mwili macho mdomo okoka entire flesh the senses zote ziokoke si kuokoka lakini macho yako ni ile macho baba inasemaga haute eyes macho ile ya kuangalia na mm, na ukiona msana kaa uko kijana uko msana kwa kijana unaona kijana unapendezwa na yeye na macho yako diposa Yesu akakuja akasema kwa kutamani tu umefanya dhambi <laughs> haleluya kwa kutamani tu kutamani maana watu wa kitambo walikuwa na ile aspect ya until i do the act that's when i've sinned but Yesu akajua hii flesh yao haijaokoka macho yao haijaokoka so saa hii utamani bibi ya wenyewe bwana wenyewe kumtamani tu ile tu he ningetaka kuwa na that the bible says you have already committed adultery so what is god saying going back to romans 8 living in the spirit has to be directed and has to come through the power of the spirit himself how do you know that you are in the spirit give me romans 1 8 how do you know that you are in the spirit how do you know that you are living in the spirit number one thing that the holy ghost will give you is the spirit of or rather he'll give you the ability to discern 
when you have the Holy Spirit, you will always be in a position to discern. To discern. To discern is ability to know all the aspect of able to, un to understand or know things that are not obvious. Mambo si hile akawida, but una discern. I've told you here, I'm walking in the streets of, or this streets of Nairobi, and I meet people, a man, who is an agent of the devil, who has been sent to come and kill what God had deposited in me. And the guy comes like a very casual guy, Kawaida too. And I'm walking, I remember I had been sent by my brother, and I remember I'm in gear, hallelujah. And I come and do my laptop, Mahali. I'm taking the laptop, I meet the guy, the guy is Kawaida too. I don't know him, but Kawaida, mtu wa kikuja kama kusalimia, sukuna ile kateda nse kotawa kumsalimia back. So I was like, okay, okay, just to give my hand, the angel of the Lord stops the hand. Mkono yangu inakuwa mahapa, yake inakuwa mahapa. Huku Nairobi. And God told me, don't greet him. Tuliangalia na hivi, nimekaa hivi, ya kupandula mekaa hivi. Wakati mungu aliniambia don't greet him, nikajua this is an attack. I remember I was doing some deliverances. A lot of the every week ni kuna nikuwa nafanya deliverances. So I knew I was prone to, to, to attacks. So God told me, don't dare, don't dare. So jamaa tuliangalia na ye jicho kwa macho kwa macho hivi. Nikaanza kuangia in tongues. Because when you have the spirit of God, you, there, is, there is the ability to speak in tongue, not with tongue. We don't speak with tongue. We speak in tongue. In why? Because it is the Holy Ghost within you who is speaking. So, to me, I'm going to come and say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to all of a sudden, macho yake ikabadirika. Literally. I'm going to say, this thing is the vampires, and I'm going to say, I saw a man's eye turn red, hot red with kind of some because mission yake ime fail to sarimiane body contact so alikuwa achiria guvu zingine za macho but na mini memuangalia in kalab radiko za behind alianza kuchomeka macho akanza kufanya fanya hivi then he went Sija yona mtu ya metoka mahali A distance of about About 400 meters Amene na nyuma hivi, hame kuangalia Venye, venye tu nilianza kukemea hiyo spirit Jama alena na nyuma kama meniangalia hivi Akaena na nikona akena kabisa na nyuma They are demons, they are spirits Na kazi yao ni kuja Kazi yao ni kuja kukil that which is in you. So, if you are in the spirit, God gives you designing. You are able to design things. You don't do what they do, but you ask, consult the spirit. Now, give, give, give me verses, I think, eight. Living in the spirit is... And has to be a discipline. Those who are in the realm of the flesh cannot please God. You cannot please God. Because I like what the Bible says, the realm. So it's a realm. Nyanga. Mawazo yako haija wakoka. Fika mwili wako huja wakoka. It's a realm of the flesh. I continue the next verse. Therefore, no, verses, I think, nine. You, however, are not in the realm of the flesh, but are in the realm of the spirit. If indeed, if indeed, 
The spirit of God lives in you. In you, not with you. In you. Why? When he is in you now, you activate him. Na sasa unakuwa Silvio Naishi ni ni roho wa Mungu anaishi ndani yako. So everything about you has to be directed by the spirit. Aha. And if no, uh, and if anyone does not have the spirit of Christ, they do not belong to Christ. There's, there's a scripture I think to Meruka Kidogo, which I wanted to emphasize. I think give me verses five all. So yeah, verses five. Those who live according to the flesh have their minds yeah, set on what the flesh desires. But those who live in accordance with the spirit have their minds set on what the spirit desires. So your mind can either act as a vessel of the flesh or as a vessel of the spirit. That's why when you control your mind, you have controlled your life. When you control your mind, you have controlled your life. Mind is where your soul, the emotions are, the will are. So God is saying, their minds set on what the spirit desires. Everything, the spirit desires something, the flesh desires something. Hallelujah. The demons are called living in the spirit. Is a war. By the way, see Kitu Raisi, my friend, is a war. Ni vita. Ni kuna vita. Mm, kuna kupigania. Because both the spirit and the flesh, they are fighting for, over your soul. Remember, the soul is the only thing that when you die will be alive. Your soul. When you die, it's the only thing that will be alive. Alive in hell. Hallelujah. So let's go now to verses as we conclude. Uh, verses uh, 11. Okay, g- give me 10. Uh-huh, give me 10. But in Christ, in you, but if Christ is new, then even though your body is subject to death because of sin, the spirit gives life because of righteousness. This is to why we shall be given new bodies when Christ will come. It's because this body is subject to death. Death is a result of sin. So that's why we shall be given new glorious bodies. Body that does not have senses. Senses that will lead you to sin. So he says, though the body is subject to death uh, because of sin, the spirit gives life because of righteousness. What is righteousness? The right acts in you that are propelled and brought about by the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Then he says, verses 11, uh uh-huh. And if the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies. Uh Aha. Because of his spirit who lives in you. Yani, baby nasema, yule roho alie fufua Christo. Wakati uliokoka, yule roho alie fufua Christo, Mungu ali deposit that same spirit in you. That's why Christ tells us we are more than overcomers because sio sisi tunaishi ni yeye aliye ndani yetu. Ni yeye anatawala. Ni yeye anatuongoza. Hallelujah. I want you to get this. It is him. If you are a born again Christian, a born again Christian, it is him living in you, directing you, 
counseling you, you know, instructing you. And remember, it is a very quick, or it can be a very quick thing for him to leave you. Kuondoka kwake dani yako is like a flash of an eye. Just because he is in you, he does not give you the opportunity or the crowd to wakati moja unaondoka dani yake alafu unarudi. Hapana. Ah ah, he deserves holiness, righteousness. David walked with God well. Until the day the flesh took over his life. Huyu jamaa ako na mabibi wengi. About 300 or so. He has concubines. But then the flesh is still demanding, I want more. I want more. Imagine. The body is demanding, I want more. Na ako na bibi miatatu. Na ma concubines wangapi? Huh? In 700, I'm going to Solomon, I'm going to 700. Uh, David, I'm going to be me at that. How many? Four. Ah, some of my boys are coming soon. They had many wives. Solomon, I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm going to be me at that. Hallelujah. What's that? I'm the flesh takes over him and as how kwamba he is anointed of God. He is a sacred, you know, he has the heart of God in him. The flesh reigns. Amekatu, amekwa nyumba yake. And I desire the, flesh, the last of the flesh or the last of the eyes. Paka nasema, yule, aletwe. Niletwe yule. And then, shetanya naongeza sasa, maka. Anasema yule ni bibi anyewe. Na bonaki ako api, ako vita. So what 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 do I do? I need to kill that guy so that I take this woman. Evil, immorality, you know, uh, the, the, the evil spirit now speaking dani yake. Aka piga simu waraka. Imagine, hile simu walikona wakatuo. Ama message yu akatuma. Hile uh, alikuwa mkubwa ajeshi yake. Aka mwambia, hile soja fulani ya naitu wa suenso, uria. Mweke pale mbele kwa vita. Imagine the evil, in, the, evil, the evil in the heart. Mweke katika pale kwale mstali wa kwanza. So that ah, auliwe haraka. Na jamadi wakafanya, I, I think he was called Joab, the, 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 the military, who was control over the, the military. Akaweka ule uria pale mbele. Jamaa akauliwa. Daudi, akapata izwe. Lakini hakuwe puka. Hallelujah. Hakuwe puka punishment. You will never escape the punishment of God. And some people even die. Daudi ni venye tu mungu alimuhurumia sana. Some men of God, some people die. Because that is, that is joking with the spirit. That is what we say, the Bible says, ni Grieving, yeah. You are grieving the Holy Spirit. Na kuna dhambi, hawezi samehewa. When, ukiongea mambo ya mungu, sijui nini, okay. Ukiongea mambo ya Jesus, nini, nini. But when you blaspheme, when you talk ill of the Spirit of God, you will never be forgiven. That's the scripture. Hallelujah. So then, the Bible says as we... Wind up. The, the next verse, there's a scripture I want us to read there. Verses of Therefore, brothers and sisters, we have an obligation. Hmm, I love this. But it is not to the flesh to live according to it. Uh huh. Why? For in you, uh, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. And this is not just about physical death. This is about everything that is entitled to you. 
your marriage will die. Your job, dead. Business, dead. Relationships, everything. And then finally, the Satan, remember the devil comes to steal, kill, destroy. So, akimaliza biashara, amepatia stress, amimaliza ndoa yako, stress niendea kuongezeka, finally unaona fadhali kujua. So finally you have the physical death. But if by the spirit you put to death the misdeeds of the body, you will live. For what? Uh -huh. This is 14, very important. For those who are led by the spirit of God are the children of God. Hallelujah. So who is a child of God? Sorry? Those who are led. What is to be led? To be led is not you consult him where you, you want to go. It is him telling you, come, I mean, let me take you. Even if there is war or conflict or water, he tells you, let's just pass here. He's leading you. He's leading you. That's what the Bible says. Even if I go through the valley of the shadow of death, Gopa, he is with me. Hallelujah. And an Yongoza, praise be to the name of the Lord. Even if I go in the many waters, in the fire, Shadrach, Meshach, they knew who they had. And I love God because now, what will him want physically? Well, you know, the Spirit of God in form of a being physically. Jamal, I can use a motor, okay, to engage. Like in the cool and dani, you will buy a liqua. Invisible, akakuwa visible. So majama ona ne kana wakiyong, wakiyonge wakiyo ane uko. Paka malika na mfalme na sema. Did we not throw three people there? And who is that? Akinu akat jama wali ambio atoke e ha kutoka. The the person wali the God wali kuwa na mwana ha kutoka. E tu ali ali disappear. <laughs> That's how. God leads his children. Even if I go through the lake of fire, I'll not fear. As long as he is the one leading me, Star Gopa. Glory to God. Amen. Child of God, the desire of God is that we live in the Spirit. Walk by the Spirit. Talk in the spirit. Everything in the spirit. Hata wewe unataka kuingia kwa ndoa. Usiingie kienyeji kienyeji style. Hallelujah. Ask the spirit. Should I marry her? Should I marry him? Wewe unataka kuanza biashara? Hapana, anza kienyeji. Mungu, should I put this business ya, ma, ya mandizi hapa? Niweke hii biashara ya ABCD should die. The problem is that most of us we don't we don't love asking or requiring. Or I mean inquiring. We just want to do it. Ikianguko unaanza ku blame everybody. Karibu mpaka unaanza ku blame Mungu. God, niliweka biashara, hujaibariki, akalia anani. Na huyo anani Alienda haka inquire, <laughs> munga haka mambia, go ahead my daughter. Lakini wewe, ulikuja tu na kienyeji, saluko na pesa, uko na capital, manza biyasara. Praise be to the name of the Lord. Si munga tu saidie. Hallelujah. Si munga saidie kanisa lake. Tuongozwe na roo. Hallelujah. Tuzimame karika jina raisu kristo. There's a song that we used to sing some years back. Naimbwa niongoze e bwana popote ni enda po nalisiku aha taje hiyo ah kumbe tunaijua aya let's sing all together Niongoze e bwana 
Watani Enda po Hadi Hadi siku Ya mwisho Hiyo taji Taji hiyo Nipati One more time ni ongoze Ni ongoze Say as you mean it Aha Popote ni One more time as we finish. Close your eyes and tell God to lead you. Tell the Spirit of God to lead you. Mpaka hiyo siku taipata hiyo taji. There is a crown that is awaiting all those who shall be led by the Spirit. It is the Spirit of God who will take us to the Father. To be crowned as children. To be crowned with the royal through our robes. Tell the Lord to help you. Let the Spirit of God come in you. And ask Him to lead you. In the name of Jesus Christ. And until He leads you, you will never have success. You will never go beyond the ordinary. But when He is in you, He gives you the super. Super, the superpower within you in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory belongs to you. You are worthy to be praised. Lead me, Lord, by your spirit. Lead me, Lord, by your spirit. Oh, Lord, I refuse to take myself. I refuse to walk by myself. I refuse Lord, to walk by myself. Oh, lead me. Lead my family. Lead my business, Lord. Lead my marriage, my father. Be one, the one to lead in the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Shekayada, brother, behind. Rabbi, kolovis, kedi, behind. Makata, yada, riklo, vazundi. Ribos, kedi, behind. Lozi Sarabroko Vasundi Shilada Anda Labisko in the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you are here and you feel you have not this relationship with the Spirit. Yes, you are saved, but the Spirit of God is not working in you, and you need Him to lead you. Just raise your hand up, we pray together. You feel, man of God. I need him to lead me. I think I've been leading myself. I think I've been walking my, on, on, my, on my own. Just raise your hand well. We just pray together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just make a step of faith and come here. Let's pray together in the name of Jesus Christ. You feel, Lord, I need a connect with the Spirit. I think I've been walking by myself, but now Jesus, I need you to lead me. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You might be also be there, you've not given your life to Christ, and you're feeling my relationship with God is not at par. You feel, man of God, I need to be born again. I need to be saved. You are there, just also lift your hand and join the rest. You feel, I need to be saved. I need to give my life. Oh, thank you, my brother. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else who want to give their life to Christ? You feel, ah, Riboski di Bahande, Rahikoza Adabante. Thank you, Father. Anybody else? Anybody else? You feel, I want to give my life to Christ. You can join our brother there. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Church of God, let's raise our, our hands uh, to these dear brethren. I don't know their lives but jesus knows their lives anyone among you who want to give their lives to christ oh glory to god hallelujah anybody else just come here just my brother come here 
anyone else want to join this one? They want to give their lives to Christ. So the rest, they want to, oh, glory to God, just come here. Hallelujah. Shara Prodiva Hande. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's raise our hands unto them and declare a permanent prayer that when they get saved today and the Spirit of God comes upon them, He'll never leave them. Thank you, Holy God. Thank you, Jesus, for these dear ones. Rivo Sharibahanda. Your word has come. Oh, Rikataya Dabali Voskadi Hande. Raprokoza Videski Maanda. Lovia Sanda Rikoza. The knowledge of what the word of God has come upon their lives, oh God. And they want to give their lives to you. I pray, Jesus, that you may receive them in your kingdom. In the name of Jesus. Zavida Hande, Raho Takura Briko Vaduski di Mahanda, Yakoro Bridanta, and that you may give them the deposit of the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, oh Lord God Almighty, they are giving their lives to you. Zayada Mahanda, lead them, Jehovah, direct them, my God, show them the way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Just kneel down. Kneel down as a show of surrender. Thank you, Father. Lift your hands up as the church continues to pray. I want you to repeat, say, Lord Jesus, today I give my life to you. From today, I live my life of carnality, the life of fresh. And from today, I receive the word of God. I believe Jesus is my Lord. He is my savior. From today, I confess him as my Lord. Anything else that may deter me from worshiping him, I put it aside. From today, I'm a new vessel. The old is gone, and the new has come. In Jesus' name. Somebody give God a good clap for these dear ones in the name of Jesus. Man of God, I feel that you lay your hands on them and let a seal of the Holy Spirit be deposited unto them. Just feel in my spirit that a seal, what is happening now is that there will be a seal of the Holy Ghost being deposited unto them. There are people who got saved, but they never received the Holy Spirit that, that, that day. But here, I hear God is going to deposit a seal according to Ephesians 1 verses 13. That the day you got saved, the day you believed, there was a deposit, a seal, Rikavoshka di Bahanda, of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit reign their lives. From today, they are a new creature. Zilako provikoza vidanti. Makola provashanda in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. There's something happening in the realm. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you. You may stand up in Jesus' name. Karibuni sana katika ufanga. If there are sisters and brothers around, you can praise and encourage them in the name of Jesus. You can hug the hugger ball. You can hug the hugger ball and uh, greet them all in the name of Jesus. You know, the good thing about salvation is that, let me tell you what has, what has, what has just happened. I know I'm taking time, but let me say this. You know what, what has just, just, just look at me, you, you three of you. 
You know what has just happened? Hata kama jana ulikuwa umesinzi usiku. Asubuhi ulikuwa umeimbia mtu kitu, umemwongesha mtu kitu. Imagine hiyo record Mungu ameitoa katika kitabu cha hukumu na akaitupa motoni na akakoandika katika kitabu cha uzima. So ni wewe sasa ujue Mungu atarekod nini? Atarekod ma- maovu tena ama atarekod mauzuri. Hallelujah. Mungu awabariki. Let me pray this once. Just raise your hands up in Jesus name. The Holy Ghost is here. Somebody. The Holy Ghost is here. Something might happen. So ushers be ready in the name of Jesus. Thank you Holy Spirit of God. Proviska da bahanda, reosa bihonda. Lord God Almighty, blessed be your holy name. Thank you for this dear ones, my God. They need another retouch of the Holy Ghost. They need, Lord, a visitation. Jesus, I decree and declare they shall be led by the Spirit, they shall be governed by the Spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. I release the power, I release the curse, they shall know more walk by the flesh, but by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, thank you Holy Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus, Father, let the glory of God, and the anointing of God, and the power of God, rest upon their hearts. Have your wish. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Daddy. Touch their hearts one more time. Crush their selfishness. Crush their selfishness. Crush down their flesh. And let the Spirit of God reign in the hearts in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray Amen give God a good clap in the name of Hallelujah. as well